Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, today again I have come up with a very amazing video. It's a very rare concept. It is dipole-dipole uh, uh, attraction. Uh, you don't see this uh, normally in books. So, and this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together and uh, name of this problem is dipole-dipole interaction. The upcoming courses on uh, Unacademy for me will be solid and fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, and these courses will start on 4th and 5th January respectively and in order to unlock uh, free courses on Unacademy you can use my code Nitin sir and uh, guys there is one very important uh, information that is if you haven't uh, enrolled in Unacademy combat on 3rd January which will take place for class 11, 12th and 12th pass at 11 a.m. so I have given uh, the link in the description please enroll yourself and you will be seeing some unique problems it will be 20 minute uh, per subject uh, contest with the you know thousands of students will be there so you can check your ranking ratings etc for more information you can uh, click on the link of uh, unacademy which is www.unacademy.com and trust me physics will never be the same again so here is the statement of uh, this problem two tiny dipoles with the uh, Moments of uh, P1 and P2 are uh, placed in an homogeneous medium in the given orientation as shown in the diagram. What will be the force? Uh, this should not come here. Uh, what will be the force of? This should not come. What will be the force of interaction between the two dipoles? So given orientation is given and tiny dipoles are given. So we are going to solve this problem under the assumption of that R is very, very large compared to the size of these two dipoles. However, diagram doesn't show that, but uh, we are going to work in these limits only that this dipole and this dipole is a very tiny dipole and the distance between them is large enough. So concept wise here, uh, we will try to recall the results of uh, uh, electric field produced by the dipole on its axis and perpendicular uh, on the perpendicular bisector so if you remember along the axis this field was uh, k into 2p vector by r cube which was in the same direction as dipole moment and uh, here in the perpendicular bisector uh, case that field was opposite to the, opposite to the dipole moment vector and the value was given by kp by r cube so these results you must remember and also there was a third general case where there is a dipole placed and uh, at some general uh, angle theta at a distance of r we want to write uh, the value of electric field. So here we will be taking this dipole as a dipole of dipole moment p cos theta and another one we will take as p sin theta. Alright, this p sin theta and this is p cos theta. So you can see for p cos theta this is going to be uh, along the axis so k into 2p cos theta by r cube will come and similarly here due to this p sin theta it will be opposite to that and kp by r cube where p is p sin theta so these are the two components of electric field which are mutually perpendicular all right so here Potential energy of this system I can uh, write as uh, you can say mutual potential energy of this system for dipole dipole cases it is uh, P dot E. So here uh, P1 is creating this field E1 uh, where this uh, dipole uh, P2 is placed. So angle theta is variable R is variable as well as this phi is variable all right. So I can write this dipole moment vector and I'm choosing uh, this direction has r cap and this direction has theta cap i'm trying to solve this question in polar coordinates and for polar coordinates there are many videos on my channel you can refer and also in my class notes we have discussed this concept of polar coordinate system in very much in detail so here you can see this vector p2 i can write as uh, p2 cos phi this component is cos phi r cap times uh, p2 sin phi times theta cap all right so now here vector E1 we have already discussed about it that is going to be 2 kp1 cos theta by r cube times r cap and in this direction it is going to be kp sin theta kp sin theta by r cube times theta cap. 
So here you need to see the angle orientation. I'm taking uh, the standard uh, angle rotations. If it is anti-clockwise, I'm taking positive angles. And if I'm taking uh, clockwise, I'm going to take negative angles. So this is standard uh, convention. Now I can write this uh, U as minus P2 dot E1. When I take the dot product, I'm going to get this expression. And guys, the way we solve in XY plane, when we write force, we write it as minus del u by del x, minus del u by del y, minus del u by del z. Here, anyways, key cap component will not be there. So we are not considering that also. So similarly, in polar coordinate system, in like we have dx, we have here dr times r cap. And there we have uh, dy perpendicular to it. Here we have this uh, distance, which is smaller. So that is going to be r d theta this distance is r d theta so in one case we are going to take uh, derivative with respect to r in another direction we are going to take uh, derivative with respect to this distance r d theta so you can uh, as you can see here i am writing this force f as similar to minus del u by del x instead of x it is del r and here I could write this as a del u by del y. Normally, if I am solving an xy coordinate system, here I'm, I'll be writing it as del, uh, del u by del of r theta. r theta is this distance, guys. I hope you are able to follow this uh, convention here. These are very standard operate, uh, operations. So this is dr and this is rd theta. So by this, we are going to get two components, force component along R cap. Both R cap and theta cap are variable uh, vectors. And this theta cap component, we are going to get along the uh, perpendicular to R cap direction in anti-clockwise sense. All right. So I can write it as FR uh, vector and F theta or FR times R cap plus F theta times theta cap. So for calculation of FR, I'll be writing it as minus du by dr and you can see uh, this in inside term partial derivative we are taking so this will be treated as a constant and the derivative of r cube we have to write so this is going to give us a general result fr vector is equal to minus 3 kp1 p2 by r to the power 4 times 2 cos theta cos phi plus sin theta sin phi times r cap if somebody can really remember these results, he will cover large number of problems. You can say you can cover at least at least 20 different problems uh, by using uh, these results. I'll, I'll take few of them and I'll be explaining it to you <coughs> how exactly you can cover 20 different problems using this concept. So here you can see f theta uh, vector f theta is equal to minus du by dy. We write there as minus del u by del y instead of y r d theta will come. So this result will become minus of del u by r uh, del theta. So this is a potential energy function here. Now we are going to differentiate it. I'm not going to explain this to you, but you can see here when we are differentiating phi, phi d phi by d theta term I'm giving getting. So you must remember here that uh, theta plus phi will be a constant for uh, stationary dipoles and also we don't want uh, any work done by the torque acting on the dipole. That's the reason I'm taking this theta plus phi as a constant for a given orientation of dipoles. So from here I'm going to get d theta plus d phi equal to zero or d phi d theta is equal to minus one. When I substitute these values here and when I arrange these terms, I'm going to get uh, this big expression and surprisingly it uh, 3 comes common and it becomes f theta as uh, 3 k p1 p2 by r to the power 4 sine of phi minus theta times theta cap so guys i'm not explaining the calculation you can uh, verify this uh, part i just hope i didn't make any mistake anywhere and now you see once we have uh, fr uh, vector and f theta vector how easy it will become to solve these problems so you can see here you can see here now one dipole is placed one dipole is placed another dipole is there this is r cap in this situation r cap will be decided with respect to p1 and theta cap will be in anti-clockwise sense perpendicular to it so now i have theta equal to zero phi equal to zero when i substitute i am getting f uh, theta as zero you can see 
phi is 0, theta is 0, directly you can say f theta is going to be 0, no component will exist here and uh, this is a very well known result 6k p1 p2 by r to the power 4 times r cap and minus sign is coming that means force is going to be attractive in nature, uh, you can see here theta is 0 and phi is 0. So this term is going to be 1, uh, sorry 0 and this will be 1, this will be 1, so 6, 6k p1 p2 by r to the power 4 with negative sign, this means it is attractive in nature. Similarly for the second case, uh, I am taking another dipole in perpendicular uh, orientation, so one dipole and another one is uh, perpendicular to it. So can we say here r cap is going to be, r cap theta cap will be decided based on the orientation of p1. So this is r cap and this is going to be theta cap for us. So in this situation I am going to get theta equal to 0 and phi equal to plus pi by 2. When I substitute these values here I am going to get f r equal to 0. You can see theta is 0, phi is pi by 2. Theta is 0, phi is uh, pi by 2. So this term will be 0, this term will be 0. Overall force will become 0. So you can see here that uh, in this case uh, fr is 0 and uh, f theta is going to be 3k p1 p2 by r to the power 4. Alright. Now third case I can take two dipoles are parallel and placed at a distance of r. So this time this is going to be my theta r cap and anti-clockwise sense 90 degree this is going to be my theta cap in this case so theta is uh, plus 90 degree anti-clockwise sense and here from r cap it is coming clockwise so phi is 90 degree so when i substitute these values i am going to get these two results you can verify i am not showing it to you here f theta is <coughs> f theta is going to be zero theta is 90, phi is 90, minus 90, so this is going to be sine of minus 180 degree which is going to give us 0, so f theta is 0, similarly when you substitute these values here, uh, you are going to get minus 3k p1 p2 by r to the power 4 in this case, because this is going to give you uh, minus 1 and this is going to give you 0, so plus 3k p1 p2 by r to the power 4 and it will come in r cap direction surprisingly and since it is coming positive it must be repulsive in nature and uh, like this there could be a case where uh, a long uh, conducting plate is placed uh, and it is earth and a dipole is placed here its image dipole will be here you can find the force of uh, interaction between the infinite plate and uh, the dipole like this there are many questions which can be solved using this concept I just named a few in another video I'll take up and I'll, I'll show you how those different 15-20 uh, problems can be made on this concept. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you haven't, if you have enjoyed this video then uh, please like, share and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it. I'll be coming up very soon with another video. Thank you. Thanks for watching it.